Study of Characteristics of GM Tube The aim of the experiment is to study the characteristics of GM tube. That is, to study the variations of the count rate with the applied voltage and thereby to determine the plateau region, the operating voltage and the slope of the plateau. The apparatus required to perform the experiment are GM counting system with AC main cord, GM detector with connecting cable and stand, radioactive source holder, and radioactive source. GM detector or GM radiation counter tube, shortly called the GM tube, is a type of gas detector used to detect alpha particles, beta particles, gamma rays or X-rays. The principle behind the GM counter is that, while passing through the GM counter, the nuclear radiations ionize the gas contained in it. The GM tube consists of a cylindrical cathode usually made up of copper and an anode usually a tungsten wire which is in the center of the tube and is isolated from the tube. GM tubes are filled with 90% organ, the filling gas and 10% ethyl alcohol, the quenching gas or 0.1% chlorine or bromine as quenching gas and the rest is organ. A thin glass or mica or polymer window of nearly 10 micrometer thickness isolates the gases present in the GM tube from the atmosphere. This is called the end window of the GM tube. The electrons liberated by ionization of the gas are accelerated towards the central anode wire. Thus, the counter reads the count. The plot between the count rate and the applied voltage is called the GM characteristic curve. A typical GM characteristic curve has six regions in it. The first region is known as recombination region where the count rate raises steeply. In this region, the ionization process starts. The ionized organ atom recombines with the electron released. The second region is known as saturation region where the count rate is almost constant, though the applied voltage is increased. This occurs due to the primary ionization of the organ atom. The third region is known as proportional region where again the count rate increases proportionally with increase in applied voltage. This occurs due to the second ionization of the organ atom. The fourth region is known as nearly proportional region where the count rate loses its linearity with the applied voltage. The fifth region is known as plateau region or Gigermuller region where the count rate is almost constant. Though the applied voltage is increased, in this region further ionization is not taking place. This region is where the GM counter is operated. The sixth region is known as discharge region where the count rate again raises steeply with further increase in the applied voltage. The secondary ionization leads to a chain of ionizing events known as Townsend avalanche. Such a series of avalanches leads to discharge in the tube called Giger discharge. In the GM characteristic curve, when the plateau region becomes shorter and steeper, it means that the GM tube is nearing the end of its useful life. The lowest voltage applied to a GM tube at which counts just appear across the anode resistor and unit starts counting is called the starting voltage. The lowest applied voltage which corresponds to the start of the plateau is called the lower threshold voltage. The higher voltage up to which plateau extends beyond which count rate increases with increase in applied voltage is called the upper threshold voltage. The range of applied voltage over which the plateau region extends is called the plateau length. The change in counting rate over the plateau length expressed in percentage per volt is the plateau slope. The supply voltage at which the GM tube should preferably be used is the operating voltage. This voltage is usually chosen to be in the middle of the plateau that is average of the lower and upper threshold voltage. First, make the connection between GM counting system to GM detector by miniature high voltage to ultra high frequency coaxial cable. Then connect the mains cord from the counting system to 230 volts AC power. Then take the radioactive source. This is a gamma source which we have taken. After that, place the radioactive source on the source holder.
If beta source is being used, make sure the red region faces upwards towards the end window of the detector. Then place the source holder containing the radioactive source in the GM detector stand. Make sure the EHT voltage is minimum and turn on the GM counting system. Set the preset time to 60 seconds by turning the timer selection knob to 60 seconds. Then press start button to record the counts. Tabulate the recorded counts corresponding to the applied voltage. This is the table in which we are recording the counts. First count is recorded. Then press reset. Increase the applied voltage by 30 volts and press start to continue observing the counts. Tablet the recorded counts corresponding to the applied voltage. Now the second reading has been recorded. Press reset. Increase the applied voltage by 30 volts and press start to continue observing the counts. Tabulate the recorded counts corresponding to the applied voltage. Now the third reading has been recorded. Initially within 2 to 3 readings, counts will steeply increase and thereafter remain constant with marginal increase. After few readings, one will find a steep increase as one enters the discharge region. Take just 2-3 to three readings in this discharge region. We shall proceed to the final reading next. Press reset, increase the applied voltage by 30 volt and press start to continue observing the counts. Tabulate the recorded counts corresponding to the applied voltage. The final reading is also recorded in the table. Press reset and then turn down the applied voltage knobs both fine and coarse to minimum. Power off the main switch of the GM counting system. Remove the radioactive source from the GM detector stand and keep it back in appropriate storage. After the performance of the experiment, plot the GM characteristics curve. Perform linear regression for points which are fairly constant with increase in voltage. This gives us the plateau region of the GM counter. From the obtained graph, Estimate the lower and upper threshold voltage of plateau and the corresponding lower and upper limit of the plateau. Using the values obtained, calculate the plateau length and the operating voltage as shown. That is, if V1 and V2 are the lower and upper threshold voltages of plateau respectively, then plateau length is the difference between V1 and V2. Operating voltage is the average of V1 and V2. Further, Calculate the percentage slope of the plateau for 100 volts. Percentage slope of the plateau for 100 volts can be calculated by the formula shown, that is, n2 minus n1 by n1 into 100 by v2 minus v1 into 100, where v1 and v2 are the lower and upper threshold voltages of plateau, and n1 and n2 are the corresponding lower and upper limits of the plateau. By calculating, we have found the percentage slope of the plateau for 100 volts to be 6.6 percentage. The result of the experiment is that the characteristics of the given GM tube were studied. Its plateau length was found to be 210 voltage. Its operating voltage was found to be 435 voltage. And its percentage slope of plateau for 100 volt was found to be 6.6 percentage. The significance of our result is that the plateau length of 210 voltage is the range of applied voltage over which the given GM counter can be operated. The operating voltage of 435 voltage is the voltage at which the given GM counter should preferably be used. Finally, 
the percentage slope of plateau for 100 volt which is 6.6 percentage for the given gm counter lies well within 10 percentage which is desirable in a gm counter thank you for watching